hi welcome back to my channel and uh, i'm mangesh and uh, let's continue with our next video where we are learning some sql statements in previous video we have only learned select statement which used to phrase the data from the database as per our requirement and we have used multiple options in select statements now we are moving to the next uh, statements uh, let me open my presentation uh, you can see here uh, there are all SQL statements if someone is asking you where you will rate yourself in SQL so probably I would rate myself uh, 8 out of 10 why because in mostly in production you will not get a chance to work with each and every statement but that doesn't mean you don't have a knowledge about all the SQL statements you can say that I'm using only select or insert means basic SQL statements in my daily production but I know how to use all SQL statements and all SQL statements comes with all these statements which select which is a data retrieval then DML DML stand for data manipulation language in it we have a insert update delete merge then DDL DDL stand for create alter drop rename truncate and comment grant rework these are the dcl mostly people who are working in dba team they do have a work on these statements to give the access and to remove the access then what is the transaction control commit rollback and save point so in this video we are going to cover all dml statements along with transaction control also so i have highlighted all these statements which we were we are covering in this video so <clears throat> what is the use of insert what is the use of update what is the use of delete that we will see in practical okay then uh, you can see in the next data manipulation language in it we have a four statement actually but we will cover only insert update and delete merge i will cover in the another video and then along with the uh, dml you need to cover commit rollback and save point because this transition control statements getting used only in dml so let's move and start with our insert statements but before starting insert statements i am going to create one uh, simple table in my database so how to create a table in database I don't know why it is not working uh, let me pause my recording for one minute uh, I'll check it what is the issue with my database and uh, we will resume again guys I'm back again and uh, if you'll see uh, my tool is also working fine now and in my database I have created this table to create a table we need to use create statement uh, we will learn more on in create statements because it's a DDL and we are focusing on the DML why I have created this the table because I will insert some records in this table I'm not going to modify my practice table from this database so I have created this table to create this table uh, I required four column in this table so I have mentioned here column name along with data type when you are creating any table column heading is a compulsory and what kind of data type you require in that column in employee ID, I require only number uh, employee name uh, I require characters so character and uh, combination of uh, numeric and alphabets and comma you can use in this there is a char char that uh, that is also data type available in database so that length is up to 200 characters and the var care to length is up to 400 4000 character actually then we have a department ID and salary these four column I have created under this table and this is empty table let me show you select star from EMP one so let me execute this query this is an empty table just I have just created now so I don't have anything in this table so I wanted to start uh, inserting a record in this table so obviously we need to learn the insert statement so how to use insert statement if you want to insert a record into a table then uh, obviously uh, insert will come in the picture let me go to my pdf okay here they have given how to use a insert statement always use insert into this is compulsory and then you need to give the table name and values s is very important some people are forgetting to put yes over there so values and then mention the values on which column you required what value like in my table i have an employee id under employee id i want employee number employee name department id and salary this column has to get entered in that table so how uh, let me put one record in this table i'll show you how insert i'm using now uh, sql is case sensitive uh, it is it's not a case sensitive so you can use upper case lower case it will work but make sure you're not doing any kind of typo mistake then i have given my table name which is emp1 
okay <coughs> i'm sorry here i need to mention my column name which is not compulsory but uh, this is only for learning purpose i'm telling you these are the column already i have in my table so these four column i have actually and salary this is only for reference for for reference purpose i am adding but um, this is not a compulsory so insert into emp this is very important because you are trying to insert a new record into this table and what value you want to add put here values in deep in emp id column which is your first column i want to mention this num number this is what my employee id uh, employee name obviously it will come in character so always put your character in single quotation mark in single quotation mark let me put mangesh so this employee is getting added in this table what department id he is working with so he is working in department id 10 salary 9000 so i'll show you employee id 101 will get inserted employee name this mangesh will get inserted it is in single quote compulsory if you miss with that single quote then you'll get the error dpt id 10 will get inserted and salary column so let me execute this one i'll get one message one row inserted one row inserted means let me check my table select star from emp1 see one record is inserted successfully okay again uh, if you want to insert another record let's see 102 now uh, i'll tell you another uh, see if you are aware about this sequence in this sequence you need to add the values so look at my statement now insert into emp1 values values i'm adding 102 then uh, next is my employee his name is suresh he is working in department id 20 and his salary is 4000 without giving column headings i can insert the record into the table so look at this i got one more message one row is inserted let us execute this query and check yes that record is inserted successfully in my table so in this way you can use insert statement now uh, how to use the insert statements there are multiple ways you'll get a to uh, execute the insert statements in the book also they have given two method one method is implicit and another one is a explicit we will see what they are going to show you uh, they have used another table in the example so i will relate this example in my table so in implicit method uh, they have a one query called as insert into departments and uh, the column is department id and department name they have only two columns information that's the reason they have mentioned only those two columns where they have the information and they want to insert only these columns info and the department id is a 30 and purchasing so automatically if you execute this one obviously the record will get added now let's assume uh, in my table go to my database i have i have information about employee id i have information about salary but i don't know the name and department id so in that time how to use the implicit method so is insert into emp that is compulsory okay you have only information about emp underscore id and last column is salary these two information you have and which values you need to insert under emp id i want to insert 103 and in salary column i will insert 6000 okay under employee id this value will go under salary this value will insert let's see how the rows is inserting i got one message one row is inserted let's execute this query and check it yes you have not mentioned any values here so automatically by default it will come as a null okay null means nothing present in that particular cell cell means this square next if you don't have anything like if you don't have any values for these columns then you can use the explicit method also see here they have given one more example setting insert into departments values 100 finance null null if you have if you don't have any values for that particular column you can put null keyword also over there let's see uh, i'm not using this one uh, because i'm trying to use the explicit meta then uh, another employee is 104 his name is santosh uh, let me put in single inverted comma and uh, uh, 
I don't know about his department ID, so I'm putting null. I don't know about his salary, so I'm putting here null. So let me execute this one. I got one more message, one row is inserted. Let me check. Look at the output. See. So in this way, you can use insert statement. But now, after using insert statements, to save these changes permanently, you need to use commit. If you not use commit, then this will not get saved permanently. So commit used to save the DML changes permanently. So whether you are using insert, update or delete statement, it will do the changes in your table, right? It, it, these statements are doing some changes in your table. And if you want to save it, then you need to use commit statement. If you have done any kind of mistake, then use a rollback. So it will roll back all those changes until you have saved. Okay. Uh, I'll I'll show you the rollback example also. Let me uh, add this record again. I have executed. I have executed once again. I have executed once again. It means three rows are inserted with same name Santosh. See in my table. I have a Santosh, Santosh, Santosh. Look at this. This three I have inserted just recently, which is a data entry issue. I have inserted one record four times. Uh, here I have used commit. So this is permanently saved. But till now I have not used commit. So let and I don't want to save these changes because these are the wrong. So instead of commit, I will use rollback. So it will undo my previous changes. So it will show you the message that rollback is completed. Now see, select star from EMP1. I have my previous changes. So rollback will undo your previous changes. So in this way, you can use commit and rollback also. Now we will have a quick example of uh, subquery. How do you subquery in your insert statements? That we will check it and we will finish this lecture. And in our next lecture, I will start with the update and delete. So I want you to see this video and do the same practice on your database. So you will get automatically hands on on these statements. So let's cover up how to use subquery in your insert statement. I have one table, employees table already present in this database. See, select uh, employee underscore ID. Then we have a first underscore name. Then we have a department underscore ID. And we have a salary from employees table, which is already exists in this table. Okay. And uh, this is the entire information about the employees table. And I want only these records, people who are working in department ID 90 and 60. So I can use the where clause. Where uh, department underscore ID in why I'm using in because I want 60 also and 90 also 60 comma 90 so this is what my output and I want to insert all these records in my EMP one table okay uh, I'll show you the output of my EMP one select star from EMP one let's execute this one you can see after santosh i want to add all these records so this query you need to use as a subquery so what i am doing please check now insert into emp1 this is what my table under my table i have a emp underscore id column which is already exist i have a emp underscore name column then i have a uh, DEPT underscore ID column and I have a salary columns which we need to mention here and what you want to insert the output of this subquery I want to insert so under EMP ID this uh, columns information will go under EMP name this column information will go in department ID DEPT ID this is what the information of department ID will insert in this and salary in this column so let me execute this is what my subquery let me uh, i'm just pushing putting a tab here so you can easily understand because this is your insert statement and this is your subquery so this subquery uh, what your output will give it will take by insert statement and main query will get executed which is the insert one so see i got something here uh, i have done wrong it might be the issue with It is showing values too large for this one. Okay. 
what is the issue exactly i'm telling you uh, see e under emp name my desc emp one table with the help of this you can see how many rows are there and the character length of your emp name is only eight so you cannot insert more than eight character in that column and that same error you have received here okay values are too large in your emp1 why because of this thing so uh, let me take then uh, uh, instead of this i will put last name i guess under last name i don't have large character so let's see execute this okay so few of uh, character has nine characters so i need to update this table first okay what i'll do is uh, let me take only the people who are working in 90 people who are working in 90 uh, let me execute this one first okay so in 90 okay under dehan actually we have total four plus three is seven character okay now see all these three records will get inserted into emp table if you'll see here uh, select star from emp three records those three records has insert and why uh, the records from department id 60 is not got insert i'll show you because there are some people whose uh, last name has multiple characters more than eight characters that's the reason those not came in the picture see uh, i'll put here 60. let me see that name see patabella there are more than eight characters are here so obviously this record will not get inserted because your table if you'll see the actual character count is very less emp1 so here you cannot insert more than eight character while creating a table i have given only eight now that's the reason i'm getting this error so whenever you'll get any kind of error you need to troubleshoot it why it is getting it okay and accordingly you need to work on it so this way you can use insert statement and insert statement with the subquery we have just covered in this video try the same pack practice at your end and uh, let's move to the next video uh, i will update uh, example of delete and update and uh, save point also in our next video because i don't want to make this video very lengthy so see you again in next video uh, to make a practice of update statement also and delete one also thanks for watching this video